monarch butterfly wing earrings, completely hand fabricated, set with the citrine yellow to accent the monarch butterfly. It all starts with an image I find online that I screenshot and trace. See, I'm showing you that part's too thin. That's why you need to trace it with a jeweler's eye instead of just copy it offline. So the parts that are too thin, you need to make thicker. And the parts that are too thick, you, you need to make thinner. So there's your tracing table. Tracing the image. Adjusting the thickness of certain parts of it. A little touch up, a little erasing, getting the detail going. And there it is, the first draft. Now I got my sheet metal, that's silver, scrubbing it up with 400 grit so everything sticks gluing the image directly onto the silver sheet. That sheet metal is six tenths of a millimeter. There's my saw blade. So that saw blade is a half of a millimeter. You can see it there lining up half a mil. Loading up the saw blade with the hand saw. Cutting the images off of the sheet. And see, you can see why there's that V cut in the bench pin so that it supports each side of your work while you can cut into it. Now I'm doing the second draft detailing, making parts smoother. Hopefully this helps people understand how much work goes into my jewelry. There it is. Detail, detail, getting the edge, getting that part. Getting all the details going. All right, so next step is to drill holes. I'm drilling holes with a one millimeter ball burr. And th that ball burr is going directly through the metal. And then the final row right there, I don't go all the way through. And it does this really neat detailing that really reflects the light. It kind of looks like little diamonds. You'll see when it's done. So I'm drilling through. I'm drilling all the way through so that I can thread that saw blade into those holes and pierce out the detail. So I got my handsaw, I got my work item with the holes drilled, and see I'm threading that saw blade directly in there. And now I'm piercing it out, one little part at a time. And I only broke one saw blade doing this job. That's pretty good. I mean, when I first started out, I would have broke who knows how many saw blades, 10 of them or something. Piercing it out, piercing it out. So that's what's up with that little V notch in the bench pin there. It holds the work on each side. And there it is. Almost.
All right, now I'm cutting the edge out or on around the outside of it. And that's Louie walking in. Oh wait, Max, hi Max. Good boy, Max. And there it is. That's one wing done. And it's not even close to being cleaned up. And I have to solder on the hoop on the top. There's some silver dust. You gotta wipe it on your pants so you get silver in your pants. <laughs> All right, here's the second one. Got a little detail, clo a closer up shot. So you can see what happens, kind of. Of course, it's all sped up. It takes so long. I think each one of these shots were 30 minutes. Just to pierce the, uh, just to pierce out that one wing. Each one was about 30 minutes. Getting the edges, getting the edges. And then you can see that I leave the last row of half drilled through. Getting close. My finger's kind of in the way to see that, but um, this is my first video doing this like this, so uh, I just have to learn. All right, so there you can see the wing that still has the outside. Now I'm touching up the outside and then cutting off the edges. Getting that nice, uh, nice detail. All right, so now I'm gonna make the hoops, the jump rings to attach it. See, I got my one millimeter wire. I'm spinning it on a one millimeter thick drill bit dowel that you would go through the middle. So that means that there's in the middle of this tiny little ring, there's one millimeter of space because I'm gonna connect it to another ring that's one millimeter. So there it is, a little spiral, spiral of one millimeter sterling silver. And so what you do is you cut directly down the, the side and it, releases each little ring so you get a bunch of rings and here we go making it happen hand fabrication so there's the first little nug that was a uh, um that was bent that was a uh, viced in that little hand vice so here comes the first ring and there it is. You got your one, one little jump ring right there. Cutting them, cutting them, and then uh, you have to uh, line them up right there with the pliers, make them line up. And see, I got my two rings there. Now I need to connect those two rings. So this next ring that I made was uh, had two millimeters on the inside. Now this is tubing. That is a stone that I just set on there to make sure, look at it and see if it fits. And I mark the edge on the tube. What I'm doing is I'm cutting stone settings out of this tubing. So there I got my two little tubes cut. And now I'm cutting ear wire. See, I measured it out. Those were the posts. Now here, see, there's that first ring that I made. And it's above the, the wing. See, I'm soldering on that jump ring that I handmade just now. I'm going to solder it on to the silver wing. Now, silver solder is silver. That's why you have to have a torch with oxygen and propane, see the green and red knobs? You have to have a lot of heat to melt silver. So I put my tiny little speck of silver solder on there in between the two of them. And now I'm going to melt the silver solder. And the silver solder melts right before 
the actual sterling melts. So you have to like know what you're doing or else you'll just melt the whole thing down. And I flipped it over. I'm going to pull the solder through the other wet side and give it an equal balanced solder. You got to heat up the larger object first to bring the solder onto the larger object. So the wing gets most of the heat. You can tell on this part right here. See, so yeah, you have to heat the wing up. And then they see that tiny little ball that was on the tip of my pliers, our tweezers. That was the solder. And I placed it directly, perfectly in between. See, so yeah, I got the silver glowing red. It's done. Oh, wait, no, there's the solder I'm getting. You can see it's a tiny, tiny little ball. And you, you add it in between the two objects and you flow it with the heat. You melt it so that it melts in between the two objects and fuses them, basically. Give it an equal balance. All right. So now here's the, here's the stone setting and the, that goes in the ear post. All right, so there's the ear post. See that tiny bit of solder? I've just melted it on there, hand making the setting. So I just made the post onto the setting. And now I, here's another ring with the one millimeter in, uh, diameter inside, melted it on with the solder. There you go. And it's done. Now I'm connecting the earring post and the stone setting to the wing with that larger jump ring that I made that with the two diameter drill bit. So that has two millimeters inside so it can uh, fit both the rings. I soldered it together. There it is. Set it up right. Solder it. Get the torch going. Solder both sides. Melt the... And there it is. Straight off the torch. There's a lot of work that has to be done still, you can tell. But that's how it looks straight off the torch. And now the wing is too soft. So what I'm doing is just lightly tapping it and hardening the silver. Cleaning it up with that abrasive wheel. Doing some scrubs, soap, and brass brush. Gives it a real nice soft finish. And there it is. Apparently, I forgot to film the stone setting procedure, but that's okay. Now, see the bottom detail where I didn't drill all the way through? See how shiny those little things are, those little dots on the bottom of the wing? They're really cool in real life. They look like little diamonds. And there you have it.